And now a look at the ghost factories of Greece. They're symbols of the country's industrial decline, made worse by the debt crisis. Reuters chief photographer for Greece and Cyprus is a Greek native who captured the decline on film. Rochelle asked him why he was so inspired by the nation's factories. You know, it's obviously part of the economic crisis that develops over the last 30 years. And obviously the last five, six years, you know, it became a big, uh, a big problem. Uh, so I thought, you know, it's a good part of the, the, of the story and it's also, you know, a photogenic part of the story. And also, you know, don't forget, we have 26 almost percent of unemployment. So I guess when you have hundreds and hundreds of shut down business, big factories, you know, you have a lot of unemployed people. So, you know, I wanted to go and find what happened to all these factories and the stories behind. And it's a sad story. And you captured some very poignant moments reflecting the deindustrialization of Greece. Which, um, which images actually stood out to you the most? Yes, um, I would say the one of the Greek flag um, on the, placed on uh, the rusty gate of the cooking oil factory, which is just outside Athens, a huge factory, two and a half thousand employees. And, you know, I think this picture is like a, symbolizes the, you know, the, um, the end of the industrial era of Greece, but also the Greek spirit. Because the story behind it is that a, a man that lives nearby found the, the, the flag on the floor and he felt bad, he felt ashamed. And then another picture uh, was a picture of a Christmas tree still decorated on the floor covered in dust. It was on the floor of this huge storage room up in Thessaloniki's um, industrial uh, area. And um, it was uh, kind of, uh, you, you could still feel the presence of human because behind this uh, tree was a, uh, a manager's office and he was uh, a safe and a calendar, a wall calendar, the year 2011. And you could almost feel the human presence. And it was also kind of spooky. Like, um, like a moment frozen in time. Yes, yes. And now you've yeah. been seeing these factories, as you said, close down over the last three decades. And the recent financial crisis obviously took a huge toll. Are you hopeful that Greece can bounce back? Well, of course I'm hopeful. <laughs> I mean, uh, you, need, you, must, you must be hopeful. And uh, I think, you know, what uh, the strength of Greece is the, 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 the spirit of the people. And how has life changed for you in the, last, uh, in the last six years or so? Well, you know, apart from the obvious things like, you know, the taxation is, is amazing. You know, we have like, I don't know, sometimes 10, 15 new taxes every year. Uh, then you see, basically in my case, I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones. Uh, but I've seen members of my family. I have, for example, I have a cousin had a, um, a small uh, workshop that made uh, wedding dresses. And they had a big, nice business, four or five shops. And then, you know, they had to pay so much in the t for the tax, then people stopped getting married. Or they got married, but they didn't want to spend so much money to buy a wedding dress. So they, at some point, they, you know, they had to shut down all their shops, and they lost their house and they moved all together with other relatives in a small house and they lived like 10 people in 100 square meters house and uh, you know they still try to find something to do and uh, you know they're like in their 50s so there is no way to find another job so I mean you know I help them and this is the thing in in Greece right now people help each other families and you know, we kind of share money or we give, uh, you know, family, other family members who have no job some money to get by. And we hope, okay, it sounds a bit dramatic, but, you know, for sure it, it changes our lives.